Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the BMW F30. The claims to the braking system are usually minimal. Discs and pads are moderately priced, at least on the popular civilian versions 320i and 320d. The original disc can withstand everything and even a little more. In any case, the O200 O exercise can be repeated a couple of times and the brakes will not burn out with a bright flame. The ABS also works flawlessly if no one has climbed into the electronics. The suspension of the F30 is very, very different in terms of performance. The standard is very soft, the M versions are noticeably stiffer. There is an option with controlled shock absorbers. There is a McPherson strut in front with aluminum levers. They mainly bring the anti roll bar, bushings, and a hydraulically filled arm support. Oh, a miracle, it changes separately. Suspension knocks appear infrequently, but a decrease in straight line stability, sensitivity to a rod, just an indistinct zero indicates that the front suspension is worn out. While those who want increased steering clarity and character of the M3 put non native levers and a bolt joint instead of a hydraulic support. Fortunately, there are options, and the levers from the M3 in the E92 body will also please with the cost and get up with minimal alterations. Ball joints, by the way, are very reliable. They are 100 150,000 front almost always. The steel subframe is strong, it's only afraid of an accident. Aluminum fists are bad only because the fastener is over tightly. The hub here is bolted, a reliable solution but quite expensive. The shock absorbers themselves are well protected from dirt and they have a decent resource for 100,000 for sure. The rear suspension is stronger than the front one, in any case it's usually still native by runs of 100,000. Despite the fact that the levers are now 5 per side, they are thinner and lighter than the E46, E90. The strength is not bad and they provide excellent comfort, but the cost of repairs of course goes up. Steering on the F30 with EUR on the rail itself. Sturdy and completely reliable. The main disadvantage, it breaks off aluminum mounting bolts on monodrive cars, there was even a revocable campaign for them. However, it is inexpensive and easy to change bolts to steel ones. Failures of the torque and steering position sensors occur occasionally, while the tire rods and tips do not last long if the tires are wide, but the price of this element is ridiculous against the background of the operating price. And even if the rail rattled, this happens, it is treated by replacing the side bushings, less often by replacing the input shaft with the housing. By the type of drive, about half of the cars with rear, half with full X drive. Gearboxes are almost entirely automatic, versions with manual gearbox are literally piece. Rear-wheel drive cars with mileage of up to 200,000 do not have any special problems with the transmission. The rear gearbox often sweats, its oil seals are not very successful. The CV joint and propeller shaft are strong enough. If the car has not drifted, then almost certainly everything will be in order. And if you drifted, a common problem with cardan shafts on the F-series is a rotated rear flange with an elastic coupling. Under heavy load, it cuts splines. There are two types of flanges, depending on the gearbox and for several sizes of couplings. But this is being repaired now, you won't have to buy a new cardan. Flanges are available and the splines on the gearbox are robust, while the universal joint crosses hold up well. In four-wheel drive cars, problems with the front universal joint are added to the number of mechanical problems. It cuts off the splines at the junction with the transfer case with runs up to hundreds of thousands. This is usually treated with a spacer, which allows the shaft to go deeper into the transfer case. An alternative is replacing the cardan or welding and cutting off splines. Transfer cases of the ATC 350 and ATC 450 series are famous for the early wear of the clutch pack. Since the lubrication in the box has become natural, the oil pump has been excluded from the design. The bearings of the box also suffer. As a result, it reacts very poorly to oil contamination or lowering for its level. As a result, critical wear of the transfer case with runs up to 50,000 is not uncommon. If there are shocks during acceleration, jerks of traction, then we need to think about repairs. In case of initial damage, the price will not be too high. Moving on to gearboxes, it's worth noting that everything is fine with the manual gearbox. The service life of two mass flywheel is not a record one, but they usually hold up to 100 or 1500,000. The slight laxity of the gear change mechanism begins to affect closer to 200,000 mileage. There is only one automatic transmission on the F30. This is a hydromechanical setup of the 8 HP series, most often in the 8 HP 45 version, which works with all engines up to the most powerful 6 cylinder. Where the 8 HP 45 is lacking, the 8 HP 70 is installed, an improved and reinforced version, but the differences are mainly in the torque converter, GTT, and reinforced planetary gears. 
8HP is a classic, by modern standards, designed with mechatronics, that is, with an automatic transmission control unit integrated with the valve body. A complex kinematic scheme and progressive low-pressure hydraulics, a dual-mass damper integrated into the gas turbine engine, the widespread use of aluminum body structures made it possible to create a very lightweight and economical automatic transmission with a very large dynamic range, very comfortable, with the highest adaptability and good in today's times reliability. Mileage before overhaul from 100 to 200,000, depending on the driving style. Now about the typical problems. All around lightning of the design affected the resource of the planetary gears. The axles of the satellites literally break out of the planetary gear cases, and the friction clutches no through the steps in the package cases when the loads increase. It's possible to determine the killed 8 HP bolt with the help of diagnostics. Problems with the pack drums are clearly visible when checking the hydraulics for instability of the switching time and on the go. It is worth listening to the hold during acceleration and shifts with pumps and slippage appear despite good adaptability. Breakdowns of mechatronics and hydraulic problems associated with wear of unpretentious accumulators, pistons and seals due to pressure surges and overheating, wear of teflon rings due to poor lubrication and dirty oil, wear of gas turbine engine locking linings and a broken gas turbine damper are also well diagnosed. A dealer scanner is optional. It's enough to have a simple OBD2 cable for 500 rubles and a free version of the XHP program on your phone. The filling pressure of a live ACP is not more than 250 millibar, preferably up to 150, and the filling time is near zero or at least less than 3040. Higher parameters indicate that either the oil is dirty or it's time for the box to be repaired. The average capital price remains significant. Intermediate repairs of the steel traveling box cost up to 150,000 rubles, and serious repairs with the replacement of several planetary gears, damage to the pump and bushing usually cost more than 300,000 rubles, which makes repairs unprofitable. It's easier to buy a live, second-hand unit and already in the reinforced version. For this automatic transmission, it's better to reduce the oil change time to 30-40,000 km, install an external filter and good cooling. Naturally, most of these tips are neglected. There are a lot of examples of cars with automatic transmission, which without changing the oil, lived up to 200,000, but by the time their condition was only in the landfill. Someone thinks that this is a good option and tries not to change the oil until the last. Avoid such convinced ones. Most of the gasoline cars are 2 liter with an N20B20 and B48. B20 engine in the 320i, 328i and 330i versions. Less common are 1.6 and 13 engines, 316i and 1.5 three-cylinder cars with the B38, 318i engine. The inline 6 and 55, 335i and B58, 340i are rare. One diesel cars, the bulk of them are with N47 D20 and B47 D20 engines in various versions, from 316D to 325D, but with an inline 6, 3.0 and 57, D30, 330, 335D, there are very few cars. The main engine of cars before styling is the N20 B20. The motor is high-tech, sophisticated and highly efficient. Its resource is limited by breakdowns of the cooling system, wear of liners and oil pump, as well as the dead piston after tuning. Of the features, an electric pump and aluminum block with iron containing plasma spraying of liners, direct injection, turbocharging. Motors manufactured before 2013 have problems with the oil pump and oil pressure control valve, well, and all options have problems with the oil pump drive chain and the timing chain. Their resource usually lies in the range of 60 180,000 km. In addition to everything, there are frequent seizures, oil burners, piston burnouts due to overflow, detonation, and control system problems. In general, the engine is not bad in terms of this set of characteristics, but like other new BMW engines, it requires upgrades and high-quality service. It is poorly compatible with the technical regulations of the brand with maintenance every 15,000 and the use of low-viscosity oils, as has been written about hundreds of times. Since 2015, the car has received new motors of the B48 series. These are representatives of the modular series, so the B48 features apply to both the B38 and B58. The motor is also in the aluminum block with sputtering on the cylinder walls. The composition of the spraying has changed, but the essence is the same. The aerocarbon composition provides good wear and reliability characteristics. The motors have become longer strokes. This allows for the same 500 cubic centimeters per cylinder to get better economy and traction. 
The block here is the so-called closed deck, very rigid, potentially capable of withstanding a very high moment. Balance shafts were also added to the cylinder block, which are necessary for damping vibrations in fourth and three cylinder engines. The balancer here are gear driven and in needle bearings. There will definitely not be any problems with oil pressure because of them and there are no extra chains. The timing is also chained, but now, like all motors in the modular series, it has been moved to the flywheel side. The oil pump drive is similarly driven by a chain. Obviously, the design and its problem are the same as those of the N47 diesels, which switched on such a design much earlier. The intercooler and turbine cooling are made in a separate circuit of the cooling system. The idea is not new, but in the case of an already electric cooling system, it just suggests itself. The engine has side sound insulating casings, which eliminates the need for encapsulating the engine compartment. And legend has it that 320i cars with the S858A option have a full motor from the 328i. Most likely, this is just an option for countries with pull fuel which still says nothing about the installed pistons or the cylinder hand gasket. Due to the novelty of the design, there is still little information on these motors, but some conclusions can already be drawn. In 2017, a slightly modernized version of the B48-B2OTU motor appeared. Surprisingly, you can see newer versions of the chains and dampers, which confirms the conclusion that there are problems with them. There are also problems with jumping idle speed due to a failure of the tank ventilation valve. The pistons still fall apart on bad gasoline and hot oil. But this is a rare case and it should be noted that the engine has become stronger than its predecessor N20. It has a more stable piston group and less crankshaft scuffing. Unfortunately, there are still problems with oil appetite. Despite integral oil scraper rings and a decent heat zone, they occur at oil change intervals for more than 15,000 km and urban operation. Complaints about increased oil appetite starts at 100 plus runs, which is generally not so bad. The motor requires good low cooking oil, frequent oil changes and lower temperatures. But so far there are very few improvements in this part and among them there are no complex ones affecting the firmware. But many car owners are accustomed to changing the oil not like in the block, but twice as often, which saves the situation. Tuning is widely available and given the presence of supercharging is quite effective. There have been a lot of firmware options in the last two years. But still, the most reliable and easiest way is to upload the original firmware from the 328i, which is performed on a new machine, with less than 10 operating hours. In all other cases, you need to either reset the engine hours, which is difficult, or use even more complex firmware procedures. And in any case, it's better to turn to professionals. Not all firmwares are equally useful. During firmware operations, accompanying difficulties are possible. Three-cylinder B38 engines are definitely better than the ideological predecessors in the phase N13. The F30 had the relatively late and high power rate N13 B16 series, but nevertheless the list of problems is impressive. The most serious problems are associated with cracks in the cylinder head, scuffing in the crankshaft and cylinders, swelling block liners, while all the appetite, low resource of the timing chain, control system failures, leaks, in short, a typical prince. With runs of more than 60,000, the motors begin to show temper. After 120,000 and the absence of high-quality care, repairs are more expensive than replacing them with N20. Compared to this little monster, the B38 is a great engine. The timing belt may not be very reliable, but it certainly nurses 100,000, or even more. Doesn't bully, doesn't inflate anything, there is an oil appetite, but moderate and not so sharply growing. B58 engines are also generally pleasing to the owners and it's difficult to identify specific problems due to the small population. With runs of more than 100,000 km, it's already worth listening to the sounds of a cold start. The chain can simply break off. The oil pump drive chain also suffers, which also leads to extremely unpleasant consequences. The hair to the range in the face of the modular series B48, B47, D20 and B57, D30 motors generally retain the layout features and the list of problems. Although the motor's obvious difficulties with the timing belt have been eliminated, its resource has become more stable, and it's believed that it doesn't walk less than 150,000 km. But so far most cars have a little less mileage. And it can be said with complete certainty that the situation has improved significantly and there are no problems with mileage up to 150,000. On this, information about the problems of the BMW F30 is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.